Eighty-five years ago today, Bonnie and Clyde died in the hail of gunfire. And now the Act Out Theater in Dunmore is bringing their story back to life with a new interactive stage production. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead takes us behind the scenes in Dunmore. Take a look at the captivating performance Act Out Theater can put on. A year ago, it was a much different scene for the performers. Found a building that had everything we needed. Basically, we needed a large open space, and this is pretty much what we walked into. It was just an empty building that was covered in dust because it hasn't been used for like 30 years. After many changes and a year of growing, they wanted to do something special for their production of Bonnie and Clyde. Here at Act Out Theater, they have a stage that surrounds the whole audience to give them an experience they won't forget. The nature of the show is super intimate to begin with. So I wanted to highlight that moment as well and kind of make the audience a little uncomfortable and make them more part of the show. The actors and actresses love the chance to get up close and personal with the audience. I love the audience involvement. It adds like a different challenge of like staying in character while the audience is literally right in front of you seeing like every single expression. Being able to share the story of Bonnie and Clyde is an added bonus for the cast. It's a tough call because you're not really like you kind of sympathize with them, like you understand, but also like you just watch them like be criminals for two hours, so it's like tough, but you walk away, it's an emotional experience, and you also like, like a history lesson as well. And they are happy to be settled in their new home. And now we have like a whole different stage and a whole new experience, so it's just, it's awesome. In Dunmore, Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. And if you'd like to check out closing weekend of the performance, showings will be Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. at Act Out Theater on East Grove Street in Dunmore.